This episode is sponsored by The Real Cost. If you vape, you could be inhaling toxic metals that can damage your lungs. From the industry titan that throws their CEOs into space, comes their first foray into the world of MMOs. A game that takes a page straight out of the employee handbook by making you pick up a bunch of crap constantly. New World. Witness the new horizons Amazon has set for as their flagship game New World sets its sights on a new demographic, MMO No Lifers. Then watch its disastrous maiden voyage as the game releases with a parade of problems such as long queue times, a crap ton of bugs, and bricking very expensive graphics cards, which Amazon tried to quickly fix until the next stack of problems, as the current state of the game introduces a brand new set of game-breaking bugs and exploits, to the point where every time you log in, some major feature will be taken away, making it a relentless crapshoot of what problems might appear next in a game that feels like a ship full of holes that they are constantly patching up without realizing that the whole ship is on fire and actively being boarded by pirates. Dive into the world of Eternum as you wash ashore on a mysterious island where no one can die, as you uncover its vast reaches and dark secrets, while plundering as much loot as you can find, which is coincidentally pretty historically accurate. Then truly experience eternity as you immerse yourself in the usual MMO loop, except with none of the excitement of being an orc or cat girl, as you kill a specific number of things, pick up junk, get an item from a glowy chest, and some mixture of the three, as you're given quests by people that seem to have as much enthusiasm as DMV employees. Also, you can get item drops to chase that good, good high of getting those bigger numbers, just so you can go and run a dungeon that people with a way higher level can just stomp their way through for you. Then rinse and repeat until endgame, and realize that the only thing left to do is camp chests or do the same couple of dungeons in hopes of slightly better armor. In an MMO experience that goes from feeling novel to a chore in a matter of hours, and makes you wonder why you aren't just playing other games that have these features but do them way better, the answer is simple. This is right in the brain between gambling addiction and binge eating cake, and I'm going to milk at least $30 worth until the next thing comes along. Lunge into one of the more outstanding mechanics of New World, the combat system, that adopts a more active battle system that's reminiscent of Dark Souls, but for toddlers, making for a much more active experience when mowing down endless mobs than your normal MMO grind, as you choose from an array of weapons that gain proficiency with every use that allow you to really min-max your stats as you dump all your points into the weapon build you want until you get bored of what you have and respect in a system that surprisingly adds a lot of variety and spice to combat right up to the moment you hit a lag spike in a system that makes taking out the same type of mob over and over again a little less boring until you get a hand cramp from having to murder your 400th zombie pirate. This game definitely puts the capital R in repetitive stress injury. Delve into the most unique feature of Eternum as the community collectively levels up the towns they visit by doing quests to upgrade their features, and each territory comes with its own leveling system that will award you different types of perks. As territories are separated into chunks, and factions go to war constantly in order to take control, until the winning faction murders everyone else enough to get bragging rights for being the top dog, but more importantly, connects the storage from city to city, because after taking 20 minutes to get to a different territory, you really don't want to use your limited fast travel slash crafting resources just to dump a bunch of rocks in an interesting system that was supposed to create a sense of community through friendly rivalry, which of course didn't actually happen as players instantly greet the other factions and found exploits to ban their enemies so they could win territories in what feels like a utopian experiment gone horribly wrong if it wasn't glaringly obvious that this would happen. I mean, all they needed to do was go into a league lobby to see that. So get those picks ready and bust out your best hat for a game despite its numerous problems has pretty decent foundations but does everything in its power to artificially inflate its playtime making it feel more drawn out than a high school term paper. Maybe in a couple of years it'll actually become a new world, not just a new place. Well, you know, if it doesn't get axed by an algorithm for underperforming first, that is. Starring, running, watching the gathering meter go by slowly, going to pick up the shiny thing, then realizing you can't, trying to find the closest place to the landmark to camp, more running, getting ganked by mobs that respawn too fast, 
Zillowing houses you can't buy, just like in real life. Being over encumbered constantly. Typical MMO weirdos. An epic voice cameo. So much running. And getting stuck more often than a step sibling in a Pornhub video. New RuneScape. Honestly, trying to find all the different ways you can't spell Jeff Bezos, then making a bargain bin version of him anyway, might almost be worth the price of entry. Vaping can expose you to toxic metals like nickel, chromium, and lead that can damage your lungs. Keep talking and nobody explodes. I am proud of you, son. The room is filling with maths. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. I was supposed to fill your dark soul with light.